Hi, I'm Andrew Murchie from Enhanced Dimensions. I'm just about to take you through a tutorial that uses stock media footage from our Rock Candy 3D stock collection. This stereoscopic stock collection can be purchased online now from www.enhanced-dimensions.com. Okay, on with the tutorial. Hi everyone, it's Andrew Merge here from Enhanced Dimensions and uh, welcome to this first basic tutorial on using our Rock Candy Stereoscopic 3D Resource Kit. Um, uh, in this tutorial we're going to cover the adjusting the convergence of the animations and then basic outputting um, or basic, yeah, basically outputting for the format that you require. Um, it would be handy if you had your 3D uh, red and cyan specs uh, close to hand because uh, when you're adjusting the convergence here we'd pretty much do it in the, the anaglyph preview window. So if you pop your glasses on, what you can see at the moment is the way that uh, the way that, it's, uh, that I have it set up here at the moment is that the the foremost uh, little flying eyeball oh, thanks to Daniel Johnston there for that um, the foremost flying eyeball is pretty much just touching the screen level and by adjusting convergence, we can move uh, the effect, uh, the 3D effect, into or further out of the screen. Now, it's important to understand that you're not actually adjusting the amount of 3D in the scene. These are already pre-rendered, so all you're adjusting is where the actual 3D occurs. So, in either it's further within the screen or it's uh, coming out of the screen. So, if you wanted to push everything right back into the screen, uh, perhaps if you were rendering for a smaller uh, smaller screen, you might want everything within it because uh, it can look unnatural with things sticking out with a small screen. You would take the convergence uh, controller and move it down uh, to the left. So as you can see, if you're watching with your glasses, um, pretty much all the eyeballs are now well within the screen. Certainly the, eye the central eyeball has moved back from being on the uh, screen surface to now being within it. And obviously that tunnel goes... Um, pretty far back into the screen. Now if you wanted to do the opposite, if you were putting this on a, a larger screen, you might want to adjust the convergence so that uh, objects are above the screen. You simply um, slide the controller up to the right and if you're watching this with your glasses you can actually uh, pretty much watch interactively as all these eyeballs now rise above the screen. Uh, the convergence control will let you go to a, a crazy extent but you wouldn't really want to do that. Um, also don't forget your anaglyph preview here is more likely to be uh, a bit ghosty than uh, if you're watching on a on a good quality uh, 3D monitor or 3D TV. So you might want to do something like that whereby you've got the the central eyeball sort of sticking out but you've got the other eyeballs round about the screen plane. Um, so that's adjusting the convergence. Once you've adjusted the convergence uh, then you have to decide on your output format. Now you could output the anaglyph uh, version as you have it here. You might actually want to adjust um, some of the... Uh, you might want to adjust the colors in the left and right comps to actually uh, get rid of any you know, or, or to limit at least the amount of ghosting. So you can output the anaglyph here. However, let's say you wanted to output a version for YouTube. Uh, YouTube's preference is a side-by-side -side version with the images uh, squashed by 50% um, horizontally. Uh, yes, horizontally. Um, so if you go into your render comps and each of the animations in the Rock Candy set has, has got its own uh, controller like this. Um, if you go into the uh, render comps, side by side, side by side, left, right, 50%, that's a YouTube preference. Now the naming convention is left, right, that means left is on the left, so that comes first, and right is on the right. If it's the other way around, you have right on the left and left on the right. Uh, so we can have a little look in here, and as you see, we've got the left and right uh, animations uh, position correctly. Now you don't need to worry about the convergence. The convergence is automatically done from your anaglyph preview so the convergence is carried across for any of the other renders. Uh, you also have uh, above and below render options so you'll find certain uh, uh, perhaps computers, perhaps certain software, TVs prefer using an, uh, an above below format so again we've created a whole range of uh, above below render 
formats for you, just really ready to go. Once you've adjusted your convergence, that's pretty much it. Choose your uh, render comp and off you go and render it. Uh, I hope that's been helpful. I hope that, uh, in fact, uh, the Rock Candy resource pack is, is helpful to you all. Um, but do uh, watch the tutorials that we have uh, included here because there's a whole lot of other stuff to learn. There's uh, stuff about using the titles and we'll go into actually how some of these animations were created in the first place. Um, that's really all for the time being. Uh, thanks a lot for using Rock Candy and uh, I'll speak to you later. Thank <laughs> you.